Welcome to episode 53 of the Radio Control Show. Sponsored by AmainHobbies.com, your one-stop RC hobby store. Top Gun 2010 is known as the greatest RC scale competition in the country. And this year was another great success with a week's worth of sun, fun, and excitement for all the contestants. David Wigley was crowned this year's Mr. Top Gun, and we were on the scene to learn more about his amazing Westland Wyvern. Dave, we'd like to know just a little bit about your airplane. Could you give us a little uh, uh, report card on it, please? Sure, I'd be glad to. It's a uh, Westland Wyvern, which was a 1950s Royal Navy strike fighter. The uh, original airplane actually wasn't that successful. There were only 128 were made because it was uh, in an era between the heavy pistons that were used on carriers and the jets that came along. Well, the full-size aircraft had contra-rotating propellers, and I thought that it would be interesting to see if I could duplicate that on the model. So the back three uh, blades spin, and they're, they're powered, and the ones in the front are freewheeling, or is it exactly. the other way around? No, the, the rear ones are driven by the engine, and mm -hmm. the front three blades actually windmill in the breeze, and they make Excellent. it look like it's contra-rotating. And it sounds like it's uh, oh, really good, too. An awesome sound. So, um, we'll tell everybody uh, that's watching that this is actually uh, a model airplane news plan that they can buy. And uh, so what about the specs about the airplane a little bit? What's the wingspan? It's a 100 inch wingspan, 96 mm -hmm. inches long. For the full story on Top Gun 2010, stay tuned to the August 2010 issue of Model Airplane News. You can also find all sorts of event photos and videos on modelairplanenews.com. It's no secret that Cranon International Off-Road Raceway is the mecca for full-size short course racing. And they've recognized the popularity of RC racing and are now building a Cranon RC Raceway. It's going to have a ton of cool features such as a working waterfall. You can follow us progress on Facebook. The BH Models DHC-1 Chipmunk is a great flying IMAA legal warbird trainer. Designed for 50cc gas engines, the Chippy has an 86 inch span and comes with flaps and shock absorbing landing gear. If you're looking to add giant warbird to your RC resume, then you've got to take a look at this new Chipmunk. Josh's Jared Tebow just took the top spot at the recent short course showdown race, and we got a chance to talk to him about some of his setup tips for a seriously dialed Ultima SC. Hello, I'm Jared Tebow from Kyosho, and uh, we've got the Ultima SC here at the short course shootout. Um, our truck comes uh, ready to run version. Some of the things that I changed on my truck were uh, upgraded to some stronger turnbuckles, um, put the velvet shocks on front and rear. You know, put my own uh, electronics in, went to our, our regular uh, ball diff in the rear instead of the gear diff, and um, pretty much that's it, you know, it comes pretty good. The other main thing is just add some weights around the battery, and then I have some up front too, just to plant the truck down and, you know, get it hooked up. The new Electro Hots, designed by Steve Stantich, has the same styling and over-the-top flight performance. However, this new updated version uses modern brushless power systems and LiPo battery packs. It's also the lightest of all the HOTS fun flyers and has carbon fiber to add strength without unwanted weight. This is a solid performer that should be in every 3D pilot's hangar. The complete construction article is in the July issue of Model Airplane News and plans are available from airagestore.com. And now for some major news from Axial. They'll be releasing an all new vehicle next week and rccaraction.com will be the place to go see it first. That's right, RC Car Action will have the exclusive look at this new product with photos and video that can't be seen anywhere else. First thing Monday, make sure you head to rccaraction.com. Today's episode of the Radio Control Show is brought to you exclusively by A-Main Hobbies for all your RC needs. A-Main carries a huge inventory of RC cars, trucks, helis, planes, parts and accessories, all at the best prices around. For one-stop RC shopping, look no further than www.amainhobbies.com. For a chance to win a Losi 8T, head to rccaraction.com slash sweeps, fill out the form and enter code L8T1. And for you playing guys, you can win a Phoenix Flight Simulator. Just go to modelairplanenews.com slash phoenixflightsim, fill out the form and enter code PFS22. Good luck. Team Associate has just announced that they're offering an electric factory team version of the popular RC8B. Since it's labeled factory team, you know it's going to have a ton of upgrades. Those hop-ups include aluminum suspension mounts, motor mount, shock towers, and steering rigs. Not to mention threaded body shocks and the winning setups from Team Associate's top pro drivers. The factory team RC8B will be available in June. Congratulations to RJ Castle from Elk Rapids, Michigan, winner of April's RC Show Sweepstakes, sponsored by Model Airplane News. 
RJ is now the happy owner of the Extra 260R from Precision Aerobatics. Hey guys, tune in this Saturday, May 8th at 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time to watch the Lucas Oil Off-Road Series. And check out Team Associated's Carl Renner Center compete for the win. A lot of RC vehicles these days are coming with sealed receiver boxes, which keeps dirt and debris away from your receiver to protect it. But there's not a lot in there to keep it from bouncing around, and that could damage it too. So what I like to do is get a foam insert, cut it up, wrap it around my receiver, and use a rubber band to hold it in place. And then you put it inside your receiver box, and your receiver won't bounce around anymore. Remember to head to your local hobby shop or newsstand for the June issues of RC Car Action and Model Airplane News. You can also check out rccaraction.com and modelairplanenews.com for everything we covered this week. Thanks again for joining us on the Radio Control Show. And we'll see you next time.